Hey, this is Professor Perez from Saddleback College. Today, we are going to do more decimal calculations with a calculator. Now, I'm going to walk you through it, and we're only going to use the calculator when we absolutely need to. Actually, Charlie's going to do it for us, so let's get him out. He better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, you ready to go? Yeah. Got your calculator? Yeah. All right, here we go, right there. Now, notice, Charlie, we have a subtraction, a division, and an addition. Order of operations says we have to do what first, Charlie? Division. The division, that's right. Okay, now, here we go. Get your calculator out. Do 2.48488 and divide by 0 0.698. What'd you get? 3.56. Very nice there, Charlie. So we'll bring down our work. And now we have a subtraction and an addition. What do we do? Subtraction. That's right, subtraction first. We got to work left to right. What's 2.56 subtract 3.56? Negative one. Use a calculator if you have to. Negative one. What'd you get? Negative one. Negative one. Now I'm sure some of you could do it without a calculator, right? And negative one plus three. Hopefully you don't need a calculator for this, Charlie. You better not. What's negative one plus three? Two. Two. That is just too good. Let's do another one. Here we go, Charlie. Now, what do we have to do first? Exponent. Exponents. Very nice. What's one third squared? One ninth. One ninth. That's right. And what's three sevenths squared? Nine over forty nine. Nine over forty nine. Very nice. Okay. We don't need a calculator for that. Now, if we're going to do one ninth times twenty one point six. Remember, 21.6 is over 1, we get 21.6 over 9, plus 9 times 132.3 over 49, right? All right. Now, take your calculator out, Charlie, and do 21.6 divided by 9. What do you get? 2.4. Okay. Now, do 9 times 132.3 divided by 49. What do you get? 24.3. Very nice. And what's your final answer, Charlie? Add the two together. 26.7. Very nice, 26.7. Okay, let's do another one. We'll make it a hard one. Here we go, Charlie, right there. Now, we're gonna work in steps. Now, what we're gonna do first is change our decimals to fractions, just to work through it. Now, you can try this at home and try to put all those numbers in your calculator at once and see if you get our answer. Charlie and I are going to work in steps. All right, Charlie, now, pay attention. We're going to, in the parentheses, we have two-thirds subtract three and two-tenths. Let's write the three and two-tenths as the mixed number. There it is right there. And we're going to divide by 0 0.25, which is 25 hundredths, and that's squared, don't forget, plus 3.2. All right, Charlie, now, how do we write 3 and 2 tenths as an improper fraction, Charlie? What do you do? 10 times 3 is 30, plus 2 is 32 All over right, 10. 32 tenths. There it is. Now divided by 25 hundredths, but we can reduce 25 hundredths to what, Charlie? 1 fourth. 1 fourth. Okay. And it's squared plus a 3.2. Now, we're going to work the parentheses, but we're going to use some kung fu, right? What's the lowest common denominator, Charlie, for 2 thirds and 32 tenths? 30. 30, very nice. And so, 3 goes into 30 10 times. 10 times 2 is 20, right? And 10 goes into 30 3 times. 3 times 32 is 96. And there's our Kung Fu over 30, right? Now, we're going to divide by 1 fourth squared. Now, what's 1 fourth squared, Charlie? 1 16th. 1 16th plus 3.2. So, so far, we haven't used the calculator, right? All right. Well, hopefully we can do this. Now, Charlie, what's 20 subtract 96? Negative 76. Negative 76, right? By Kung Fu, 96 subtract 20 is 76. So 20 subtract 96 is negative 76. And it's negative 76 over 30, and that's squared. Now, Charlie, we have to divide by 1 16th. So we multiply by what? 16 over 1. 16 over 1, the reciprocal, plus 3.2. And now, here we go. Negative 76 over 30 can be reduced, right, Charlie? What is it reduced to? 
38 over 15. Negative 38 over 15, divide top and bottom by two. That's squared, we'll bring down our work. Now, we'll bring out the calculator. We have negative 38 fifteenths squared, which means negative 38 over 15 times negative 38 over 15, which is a positive number, Charlie. Use the calculator and tell me what you get. What's the numerator? 1,444. Okay, what's the denominator? 225. Very nice. And don't forget, that has to be multiplied by 16 over 1, which is 16, and add the 3.2. Now, we've got it simplified to where we're going to put everything in our calculator and get an answer. So here we go, Charlie. What's 1,444 times 16 divided by 225? Now add 3.2. What'd you get? 105884444444. Very nice there, Charlie. And we're going to round our answer to the nearest thousands. What do you get, Charlie? 105.84? Very nice there, Charlie. That is our final answer. So there you go. We're going to do a lot more problems with decimals where you have to use that calculator, right? All right. Anyway, that was a good warm-up. That's it for now. We'll see you all again soon.